major legislative victory today for the widow of an NYPD officer killed in the line of duty and her young daughter, Angelina. Angelina was conceived through in vitro fertilization after her father, Detective Wenjin Liu, was killed back in 2014. But because of how she was conceived, she wasn't extended the same benefits as other children in similar tragic situations. That was until Saturday when Governor Hochul signed new legislation earmarking she receive all of the benefits provided to children of slain officers. Jim Dolan has a story. He's live in Lower Manhattan with the details. Jim. Liz, sometimes science helps with miracles, right? Angelina Liu was born more than two years after her father was murdered. But because of that and because of the way some rules and laws were written, she wasn't eligible for really important state benefits. But the Detectives Endowment Association stepped in and they stood by Angelina. I want to be sure. <gasps> Angelina Liu got a new toy today and was pretty excited about it. At four years old, she doesn't quite understand what else she got today, but her mom sure does. I think this is very important that uh, Angelina is legally and lawfully recognized by New York State. December 2014, Angelina's dad, Wen Zhan Liu, and his partner, Rafael Ramos, were ambushed and murdered in their patrol car in Bed-Stuy. Wen Zhan Liu had been married just a year. We had plans. We had dreams. There's a whole life in front of us, you know, and uh, we were talking to having a family. That night in the hospital, Peja Chen made decisions so that she could still have his family. And Angelina is his daughter, has his DNA, looks just like him. But New York law didn't legally recognize that biological fact, and that deprived the family of some state benefits. This was a landmark case. There's no case like this before. Um, so uh, they had to do a standalone bill and, uh, you know, to include Angelina in a situation like this. This has never been uh, experienced before. So the Detectives Endowment Association got involved and they motivated politicians. And now Governor Kathy Hochul has signed a bill recognizing Angelina's rightful father, entitling her and her family to state benefits. We will always do whatever we need to do to protect them and their benefits. Angelina will be treated just like all other life duty children. So that takes care of state benefits. Unresolved, though, still are important federal benefits like Social Security. The DEA is working on that now. Reporting live from Tribeca, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.